Simo Matavel. Simo Matavel, the 14th of September, 1852, the 20th of February, 1908, was a Serbian writer. He was a representative of lyric realism, especially in short prose. As a writer, he is best known for employing his skill in holding up to ridicule the peculiar foibles of the Dalmatian folk. He was an honorary member of the Matica Srpska of Novi Sad, the first president of the Association of Writers of Serbia, president of the Society of Artists of Serbia and a member of the Serbian Royal Academy. Early Life Simo Matavel was born in Spinik in Dalmatia, Austrian Empire, now Croatia, on 14 September, 1852, to a notable Serbian merchant family. He went to Italian and Serbian grammar schools and graduated from a Spinik gymnasium, high school. After his father died he went to live and study with his uncle Serafim, the abbot of the Serbian Orthodox Krupa Monastery in Dalmatia. He was initially educated for the church, but chose not to take orders, and after four years left for Zadar Zilurik Teachers College, from which he graduated in 1871. He was a considerable linguist by then and knew Serbian, Italian, Old Slavonic, and some Greek and Latin. Thereafter he taught in Serbian villages and towns in northern Dalmatia, particularly in Divsk and Islam Greekki, near the castle of the Jankovic family, built by Stahan Jankovic, Serda of Kota. His descendant, Polyglot Ilya Jankovic, who lived in the castle with Jelena, his wife, took Matavel as his personal secretary. Jankovic had a vast collection of books in his private library and gave Matavel the freedom to use it at any time of day or night. When Matavel's benefactor and language teacher suddenly died, Matavel wrote a poem and gave a eulogy at Jankovic's funeral. I lost a valuable teacher who gave me his great wisdom, drop by drop, and opened my obscure soul, so that I may speak among honest people. He is the one I owe a debt to. Matavel's friend, Lazar Tomanovic, 1845-1932, helped him find a new job in 1874 at the Serbian Naval Academy of Srebrenica in Hrsk Novi, teaching Italian. In notes of a writer, Matavel wrote. In Hrsk Novi I lived from 1874 until the end of 1881. The most beautiful period of my youth I spent in this magnificent part of the Serbian country, on the southern junction of three frontiers. In events and circumstances which can only be imagined for a young man who had longings and affection for storytelling. I do not know if my stories are better than others but they certainly carry the spirit of what was most dear in my life the spirit of youth. Revolutionary Involvement In 1875, he participated in the Herzegovina Uprising, where he was the secretary of one of the leaders, Vojvoda Micho Lubibratic, the translator of the Koran in Serbian and again in 1881 he participated in two short-lived revolts in Krivashi before they were suppressed by the Austrian army. In the Herzegovina rebellion he got to know a freedom fighter named Petam Gonjic, afterwards King Peter I of Serbia, with whom he was constantly connected in his journalistic ventures later on in life. Professional Non-Writing Career from 1881 to 1882 he was superintendent of public schools and rector of a gymnasium at Setin, where he met the likes of Pavel Rovinsky, Lazar Kostik, and Walter Zabogishik. Till he had become a superintendent of public schools Matavel had never left his native homeland, but his responsibilities as superintendent necessitated a journey to Paris and he passed some four months of the year 1882 partly in the capital, studying the French school system, and partly in leisure rambles in the counties of France. In Paris he met Anatole France, and embarked on translating some of the works of Guy de Maupassant, Molière, and Zola, 
of whom he was at this period of his career a faithful disciple. In 1883 we find him acting as master of rhetoric to Danilo, crown prince of Montenegro, a post which gave him admission to the court. In 1887 he left Setin for Zichar where he taught at a high school for a short while before returning to Setin once again. In 1889 he was teaching at a Belgrade gymnasium, and later managing the press bureau of Serbia's foreign ministry. This latter post he held till his death, though offers of more lucrative positions were made to him. His duties were light, and he employed his leisure in writing more short stories and novels. Personal Life and Family He was twice married, once in 1892, and when his wife, Milika Stepanovic, 16 years his junior, died a year later giving birth to a stillborn. He remarried seven years later, 1900, to Lubitsa Dimovic, a childless widow. He spent the last years of his life in Belgrade, where he died on 20 February, 1908, survived by his second wife. Writing as a writer, he is best known for employing his skill in holding up to ridicule the peculiar foibles of the Dalmatian folk. His main collections of short stories are, From Montenegro and the Sea Coast, 1888-1889, From Life in Belgrade, 1891, and From Various Cantons, 1893. His best short stories are Pilipenda and Perverta depicting the moral strength of common village folk as they struggle through life's vicissitudes. His most acclaimed work, Bacon of Frobni, 1892, depicts in a humorous, satirical tone the life in a Catholic cloister. His other novel, Rebel, 1892, portrays the heroic struggle of Montenegrins against the Ottoman invaders. Of significant interest is also Matavel's autobiographical work, Notes of a Writer, 1903, in which he recorded thoughts and views on life, literature, and art. Like many writers of his generation, Matavel is a strict realist. As a painter of nature he has much in common with the Russian Gogol in keeping his eye on the object, but adds, like Gogol, a visionary gleam. In his stories and novels he describes both peasants and city dwellers, depicting with cold objectivity the difficult, stifling life of sea fishermen and the middle-class malversations in Dalmatia, the heroic and hardy people of Montenegro, and the machinations of the movers and shakers in the bustling metropolis of Belgrade. The Shekavian dialect used in dialogues of some of his short stories, of which Perverta, for decades included in high school curriculum in most of former Yugoslavia is likely best known, is a rare example of that dialect. Since the 1990s considered by most a part of only Croatian used in Serbian literary language. For many years Matavel enjoyed the confidence of Setin and King Nicholas I of Montenegro himself, whose son he tutored. During his teaching tenure he had opportunities to be brought into close touch with the rural and urban folk of Montenegro, Dalmatia and Serbia, becoming familiar with their speech and manners. There he learned to understand the ways and thoughts of the peasants, and laid up that rich store of scenes and characters which a marvelously retentive memory enabled him to draw upon at will. The progress of his intellect during these early years well deserved to be recorded. In 1880, Simo Matavel became the most prolific and talented painter of the Montenegrin life. His novel Rebels and others, were based on national anecdotes. Although these were early stories by Matavel, through sharpness of perception and the power of shaping they represent the highest artistic attainment in the narrative prose on Montenegro before 1918. Nobel Prize winner Ivo Andrik called him the master storyteller. Matavel was awarded Order of the Cross of Takovo. Click on the subscribe button on the YouTube channel.
in order to be updated with the latest events on the channel. Help our work by sharing content.